Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker AV tutorial, I'm going to help Leon Ung with uh, some skills and some states. So he goes, I want to make a skill that adds a frozen state to an enemy, then when I cast a fire element spell, it detects the frozen state and removes the frozen state, but adds a drenched state to the enemy. Any idea how to make this? So Leon, let me show you what I've got here, and then I'll show you how to do it. So we've got a couple skills. The first skill is going to be Deep Freeze. It's going to freeze all enemies. It's not going to do very much damage. In fact, it's going to do very little damage. But it's going to add a state of Frozen to all enemies. So then when we use our next skill, the Meltdown skill, it's going to turn, uh, it's going to check, do a little bit of damage, fire damage. It's going to check if they're frozen. If they are frozen, it's going to turn them into a drenched or soaked state. So you can see that the ice symbols turn into a water symbol. And that's basically all that's happened. So let me show you how to do that. I originally tried to do this with, in JavaScript and I failed. I will show you the code that I tried to use. And if you're using uh, Yanfly's um, skill core, or, uh, core engine and skill core, you can do a custom execution. Execution. And uh, anything that's in these uh, brackets will be treated as JavaScript eval. So if you want to try to mess with this and get it working, that'd be awesome. Basically, what I'm trying to do is create a for loop here. That's going to uh, check how many uh, enemy members there are in the battle and then add one to that number so that this number constantly update, updates. And then we're going to create a, a variable called target to that variable, to that uh, game troop members. So this number will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then it's going to check here if any of those numbers is affected by frozen, then we want to remove frozen and add uh, soaked or drenched. But it doesn't work. It keeps crashing. It's saying that target is undefined. Well, you know the the parameters of is state affected is undefined. It's not working. Maybe one of you experienced coders can help me out. Uh, but I found a workaround that you can do to event this if you don't want to do that. So you can keep this code in here. If we don't use the custom execution brackets, this will just be a uh, rendered inert. So what we're going to do is instead create a custom. Uh, First thing we'll do is create our states. If you haven't already, create a state called frozen and create a state called uh, soaked or drenched or whatever and make them whatever you want just so that they uh, have those two states to call on. Uh, then we're going to go to skills and we're going to create a new skill called deep freeze. This will freeze all enemies. And once again, you don't even have to do this particular skill. Sorry for Mike. <clears throat> make your skills however you want. But basically you're going to make a common event that you're going to attach to all of your fire skills that checks if they're uh, frozen and if they are it's going to remove frozen and add drenched so we're going to call on that common event right here but before we have a common event to call on let's go to our common events and set it up so create a new slot here change maximum if you have to add a new co uh, uh, common event call it whatever you want I've called it meltdown basically we're just going to do eight conditional branches so we're going to right click insert new conditional branch it's going to be on tab one right here in this conditional branch you're going to go over to act or no sorry not actor enemy and you're going to check if the enemy number one is in the state of frozen so find your frozen state and then hit ok and if they are what you're going to do inside of there you're going to go to tab three under battle you're going to change enemy state for uh, number one and you're going to remove frozen and then you're going to add the state so basically copy this paste this right click this edit not new edit this uh, change to add and then we're gonna go to soaked or uh, drenched whatever you called it and then you copy this whole thing and you paste it underneath then what you're gonna do is edit this and change this number one to a number two and then change this number one to a number two and then change the final one from number one to number two and then you're gonna copy that paste that for three do the same thing for five, four five six seven and eight until you have all of the eight conditional statements and then um, call on this common event on any, with uh, any fire skill. So if you have another fire skill like flame slash or something, you could just throw this common event in there unless it already has a common event. And then uh, if you are, it's still possible to do this. All you have to do is get a plugin uh, from HemiWorks called uh, uh, Multiple Common Events. I forgot the name of it, but I'm going to put a link in the description below to get that HemiWorks plugin uh, that lets you have multiple common events uh, in one effects thingy. So it's still possible to have like five or six common events. Um, but that's going to do it for this uh, tutorial. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please like, favor, share, and subscribe. If you have any more special requests, leave them in the comments below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being awesome, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.